I have a quiet message for you today. It's not a loud message. And the message is, it's really a great day for democracy. It reminds me why I love this country so much. When I see you out here, it reminds me as well that we're not standing here simply as Jews or Israelis or Republicans or Democrats. Above all today, we're standing here as Americans. And as Americans, we have the duty and the right to speak up if we think something is endangering our nation. Because our leaders in Washington, they report to us, we don't report to them. Now, I don't know if you've heard the argument from the people who defend and support the deal. This is what they're saying to our representatives in Congress. They're telling them, go ahead and debate the deal. Go ahead and criticize the deal. Go ahead and challenge the deal. But don't you dare say no. Don't you dare say no, because if you do say no, it will create a real big mess. Because we've already gone to the United Nations, and most of the world really loves the deal. So Congress, debate all you want, but please don't you dare say no. And when I hear that, I'm thinking, what kind of democracy is that? The founders of this great nation, when they crafted the U.S. Constitution, they were not envisioning Congress as a rubber stamp for the White House. And they surely were not envisioning that we would outsource final approval of the most important foreign policy decision of our time to the United Nations and to the European Union. That role is not the role of the United Nations or the European Union. That role is our role. Because Washington reports to us. It's up to us to decide whether this deal is good for America or not. So I want to leave you with one message for all congressmen and senators who may be hearing me today. If you believe that this deal is bad for America, dare to say no. If you believe that this deal empowers an evil regime rather than empowering the people who are suffering under that regime, dare to say no. If you believe that this deal is endangering America because it's allowing intercontinental missiles that can reach Miami or New York, dare to say no. If you believe that this deal is bad for America because it makes a mockery of inspections, dare to say no. If you believe that this deal makes a mockery of snapback sanctions because there will be nothing to snap back to, dare to say no. And if you believe that this deal empowers our enemies and endangers our trusted friends and allies like Israel, dare to say no. So to all congressmen and congresspeople and senators in Washington, D.C., and wherever you are right now, in 55 days, around the time of Judgment Day, for the Jews, around the time of Rosh Hashanah, you'll be making a decision. And whether you are Democrat, Republican, Jewish, or non-Jewish, make that decision on behalf of America. Any deal that empowers evil is bad for America. And if you believe that that deal is bad for America, dare to say no. God thank you and God bless America.